everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Haley, and today I have a huge summer shopping haul. I honestly did a little bit of damage this past weekend because I realized I really don't have a lot of summer stuff. I mean, if you follow me, if you've been here a while, you know that this is my typical uniform. I'm always in a sweatshirt, sweatpants, and I actually have a upcoming trip to Cancun next month. So I was like, okay, I really need to get some stuff for warm weather. So I have quite the haul for you guys today. I ended up going to Nordstrom, Aloe, American Eagle, Vans, Sephora, Barnes & Noble, Abercrombie, Madewell. I got a little bit of everything. <laughs> so sit back, relax, grab a little snack because we are going to be here a minute. I'm going to start off with the stuff that I got from Nordstrom, starting off strong with this hat. I was on the hunt for the perfect floppy summer hat and this one was just screaming lounging at the beach. I adore this hat. I think it's so fun. It is the perfect level of floppiness and I think that these colors will match a little bit of everything. It makes me feel like a hot rich stepmom like the lady from The Parent Trap. I feel very glamorous in this hat. Next up I got some t-shirts. This one is from Billabong and I love this buttery yellow color right now. This is like a cute little crop top. It says sun your buns. I love that. I think this would be cute over a little swimsuit or just with like a pair of jean shorts. The material is super duper soft though. Just a cute little graphic tee. Basically, if I'm not wearing a sweatshirt, I'm wearing like an oversized t-shirt. So I like to have a lot of graphic tees. I did get one more. This one I actually found in the men's section and it was just too cute. A little Britney tee. I love the neon. I got this one in a size large men's and it is the perfect oversized fit. The men's section at Nordstrom always has the best graphic tees so a lot of the times my boyfriend and I kind of just share but I just thought this one was really cute. And the last thing that I got from Nordstrom are these Birkenstock sandals. As soon as I saw them I was like I have to have them. I mentioned I don't have a lot of summer clothes but I really I I don't own any sandals. I have like a pair of like heeled sandals and then crocs. So I was like let me grab these for the beach. I am obsessed with this like pale neon green. I don't even know what you would call this color but everything I own is this green right now. How cute is this together by the way? I actually have one more thing in this haul that is this color and it is to die for so we will get there shortly but these are like little foam sandals. They are so extremely lightweight but I figured they'd be perfect for the beach because they're so light and they're, they're like foam so they're really easy to clean. I actually don't own a single pair of Birkenstocks, clogs or otherwise. I just never splurged. I always just buy the dupes but these were like 40, 50 bucks, which I will say is overpriced for like a foam sandal. I get it, but I couldn't resist. Anyway, I got my normal size and I do think they run a little bit large. I'm not too worried about it because it is a sandal and you can adjust the buckle so your foot is nice and strapped in. But yeah, I'm pretty excited about these. I just think they're very, very cute. It's such a good summer color. Moving on to Sephora, as soon as I saw this, I was like, I have to get it. So this is new from Pharmacy. I have been obsessed for years with their Green Clean Cleansing Balm. It's a staple in my shower. I love that stuff. It gets off every little bit of makeup. And in the past, they've done some scented ones. There was an apple scented one that was absolutely delicious. So when I saw that they had strawberry shortcake... I was sold. The packaging on this is just way too adorable. But getting into the scent, I honestly ended up being a little bit underwhelmed just because I, I've had the apple one and it was so strong and sweet and delicious. This one, it's not giving what I thought it would give, if I'm honest. You get a lot of like the strawberry scent, but not really like the cakey scent. Like I was expecting it to be a little bit sweeter. Maybe a little bit more notes of like vanilla or buttercream. But it does still smell good. It's just a little bit more subtle than I was expecting, which is fine. I feel like most people don't want something overly scented. I realize I'm like the outlier here. Plus, this is one of those products that I'm always repurchasing. So having this one as like back stock, ideal. And then I picked up a new fragrance for summer. This is actually like my first purchase from Mason. What is it? I I'm gonna say it wrong and you guys are gonna be mad at me. Mason Margiela? I don't, I don't know. The replica fragrances. <laughs> Up until this point, every time I have smelled these fragrances in store, I 
do not get the hype. Like everyone's favorite is like by the fireplace. I smelled it. I hate it. Most of the time I'm just not vibing with these scents that they're coming out with. They're like either too smoky or baby powdery. I don't know. But this one, as soon as I smelled it, I was like, that is the one. So this is called Sailing Day. The fragrance description is aquatic deep sea. Honestly, to me, it smells a little bit more florally. I'm going to look up the key fragrance notes of this one though, because I'm horrific at describing scents. It smells so good. Okay, so the key notes is aquatic accord, coriander, and red seaweed essence. It also mentions a rose super essence and a rush of iris, which I'm definitely getting. I'm getting a lot of the floral notes. But to me, this just kind of smells like summer in a bottle. It smells delicious. I I am going to be wearing this all summer long. I did get the smaller size because these are a bit of a splurge. The last thing I got from Sephora was actually like the free birthday gift thing for your birthday month. So I picked this one from Ilia. It comes with a little tiny mascara and then their multi-stick. They're so teeny tiny cute. The Ilia mascara is actually one of my all-time favorites. So I'm pretty excited about this one. It'll be good for travel. The multi-stick. I have mixed feelings about sometimes I feel like they're a little bit dry this one's like a mauve tone it's a really pretty color so I'm definitely going to use it I also just love a good mini moving on to aloe I actually only got one thing from aloe but there's uh what is in the bottom of this oh my Madewell stuff is in the bottom of this bag you guys this is this is probably one of my favorite things that I got could you just die? When I was in Colorado, I went to Shields, which is a huge superstore. It's kind of like a Dick's Sporting Goods sort of vibe, but massive with like a Ferris wheel, an arcade, an aquarium, a dining hall situation. I don't know. It was absolutely the most absurd place I've ever been to, but it was also the first time that I shopped aloe in store and I picked up one of the sweatshirts. I got this exact sweatshirt in like a brownish nude sort of shade. And it has become my all-time favorite. So when I saw that they had this sweatshirt in this color, sold 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 they actually have a whole collection of this color with like tennis skirts and sports bras and everything i could honestly go crazy in there but i had to reel it in okay these sweatshirts run oversized so you could get your normal size and it'll have like an oversized fit to it but because i am who i am and i like to be drowning in my clothes i did get a large and it is the perfect oversized fit so in my next few videos when you see me only wearing this sweatshirt do not be alarmed. <laughs> Figures that my favorite item from a summer haul would be a sweatshirt. Going into what I got from Madewell, I also got another hat. All of these items I ordered online. So you guys will have to help me decide. Keep, return. Because I'm not sure how I feel about this hat and one other item in here, but my goal for this summer is to start a little veggie garden. And I think that this would be a cute gardening hat. I did originally, <laughs> I did originally buy this for beach vibe. I don't really know what these straps are for because I did try, <laughs> try to tie them. I just feel like that's not right. I don't know, it's kind of giving cute gardener vibes, which I like, but I feel like it's not what I anticipated it being. <laughs> so you guys will have to let me know if I should keep it or return it. I got it on sale, but I, I don't know. I think if I like remove the little strap, it could be cute. I also got the cutest initial necklace. I don't think I own an initial necklace. I used to have a ring that I would wear all the time that had an H on it, but I always love initial jewelry because my name starts with an H, my boyfriend's name starts with an H, so it always works out very well. This is like a puffy bubble letter. I think that it's a good size and it's a little bit more yellow gold than I normally wear. I don't know if you could tell the difference but I think it's really pretty and I think that this will be really cute with my summer outfits like I got this little swimsuit and I don't know I just feel like they look really cute together right now I only have two swimsuits and I was like okay I need to get it together so I found this one piece 
I think it is adorable. I love the like florally, tropical-y pattern. The colors are so pretty. It also matches my cup as well. The back detailing is also super duper cute with the little tie. And I like the cut of this swimsuit, so it does give you a little bit of cleavage. Swimsuit shopping is truly the worst, so I was very excited when this one came in. The last item I got from Madewell, I actually bought kind of matching the swimsuit so that like when I go to the pool or to the beach I can just like pop on these little linen shorts and I think the colors look really good together but I'm not sure how I feel about the shorts they also have these in plain white so maybe I will just exchange them this is another item I need your guys's opinion on because I'm just not sure how I feel about them yet they're just like a plain linen short they do have a little bit of an elastic waistband which i really like the quality is really good i just don't know if i should return them all together maybe exchange them for a different color i don't know i'm undecided i also got some new vans and i'm so pumped about these i've actually already worn both these pairs out already i'll start with these so these are the vans lowland sneakers these are so extremely like thin almost like narrow. They're the most lightweight sneaker I own. They honestly feel really similar to the foam Birkenstocks, like that's how light they are. But they're super comfortable. I ended up getting this nude color just so I can kind of wear them with everything. I really, really like them. Inside it says that they're made with the comfy cush. I don't know what that means because it's not really like a plush cushion inside the sneaker. It really is super flat, but it's not uncomfortable. I don't know. I love these so much and when I got them, my boyfriend was like, those look really, really nice. And he ended up getting the same pair in black. So they have these in a few colors. So these were a score. I did size up a half size in these and they fit perfect. This next pair... As soon as they dropped, I was lusting over these. So I love the Vans old school sneakers. These are the new schools and they are so cool. They totally remind me of like DC's or Etnies from like middle school. They have like that puffy, chunky sort of vibe. It's a really fat shoe. <laughs> I love them. And then like the little line, I don't even know what you would call this. Like on Nikes, it's a Nike swoosh. What is this? The Vans line? Whatever. It's hard to tell, but it is like 3D. It like pops off the shoe. And these are super cushioned. These are so extremely comfortable. I did also size up in these as well, just a half size, and they ended up fitting flawless. I just can't get over how cool they are. Next up, I got some stuff from Abercrombie. I was looking for some like summer dresses, specifically something that I could wear to like a nice dinner, but also wear out at the beach or something. So I found the perfect ones. Green is my all time favorite color. It is so perfect and the fit is even better. I ordered a small petite and it ended up fitting perfectly. I'm 5'2 for reference so it is really hard for me to find like maxi skirts or like longer dresses that fit me well. And the petite sizing, so good with this one. So it has the one strap which I think is a really nice touch and then it has the like cinching in on the waist so it makes you look nice and snatched. But the best part, it has pockets. Girlies in the chat, you know what this means. Truly could not be happier with this purchase. I really want to be a dress girl, but I can never find ones that fit me well and look flattering or that I just feel comfortable in. And this one is very, very comfortable. This is actually a men's shirt. I got this for my boyfriend, but I figured I would mention it because... I know that you guys are probably shopping for boyfriends that cannot dress themselves either. I thought that this shirt would look cute with that dress. You know, like we show up to a little dinner together, a little matchy-matchy, take some pictures on the beach. That was the vibe I'm going for. But this shirt feels so good. It's like a linen material. So honestly, I feel like I might steal this and I could wear this as like a beach cover up like this over a swimsuit kind of cute i don't know anyways the quality is really nice and i love the pattern it just looks so so pretty and the last one i got is another dress this one's a little bit more dressy than that one i feel like the green one could be casual you could dress it up dress it down but this one definitely feels a little bit more dressy right now i am at that point in my life where 
all of my friends are like getting engaged having babies or whatever so I felt like I finally needed to get something that I could wear to all of these engagement parties baby showers like my god everyone because I just do not have the appropriate wardrobe for these occasions so I like the floral pattern I think it's really pretty it's kind of like tiered it reminds me of like a wedding cake I don't know with the little ruffles same thing also got this in the petite sizing and it comes up perfectly right above my ankles it looks so flattering has like that same cinched weight and the neckline is cut pretty low so there is quite a bit of boobage and it looks really really good on the back it has like this little tie detail which really helps with the boobage situation because you can tie it as tight or as loose as you need to hold the girly top anyways i was very pleased with my dress purchases so please invite me to your social gatherings i am fully prepared at this time from american eagle i ended up just getting this one thing and it's perfect. The fabric isn't actually linen, but it's like kind of a linen-esque material. So it's nice, lightweight, and I did buy this with the intention of wearing it as a swimsuit cover-up. But I love wearing like little crop tops or tank tops with like a men's button-up shirt and then like shorts. So I will probably wear it that way as well. These run really oversized. I got a medium in this and it's really long. It's definitely like an oversized fit to it. Along the collar and like just along all the seams and the hem of the shirt, it's like distressed. And I think the vibe is so good. I also went into Brandy Melville and I love going to Brandy for their graphic tees they're just so comfortable and I like I said you can never have too many graphic tees my closet is filled with them they're just the easiest thing to throw on and go on with my day so this is like a cute little Nantucket shirt have I ever been absolutely not this is what the back looks like just like a cute little simple t-shirt not super exciting honestly and neither is this next one <laughs> these are just sweatpants so these are the brandy I want to say that these are the Anastasia sweatpants these aren't like the joggers though they have like a little bit of flare to the bottom of them they're really really comfortable and like i said that is my uniform i'm literally always in sweatpants because i'm always like reading or editing or whatever so i just i live in the comfy clothes so you'll be seeing these in upcoming vlogs as well <laughs> so that is actually it for all the clothes and i feel like i hit every department with that i got some dresses i got some t-shirts i got some hats some accessories some shorts i got like a whole new wardrobe but this next purchase i feel like it's a little bit random it is a home item it's not necessarily a summer item but I did want to mention it because I got all of this stuff at the same time and I feel like you guys will love this just as much as I do. I got got by an Instagram ad, but it was 100% worth it and how often can you say that? I've never heard of the candle company Goose Creek, but they did a collaboration with Strawberry Shortcake and if you played with the dolls growing up, you know those dolls smelled so good. So when I saw these, I was like, are they gonna smell like the dolls? <laughs> so I ordered two, but they had everyone. They had lemon meringue, blueberry muffin, orange blossom, that's my girl. And then of course, custard the cat. And Ms. Strawberry Shortcake herself. And I like that they have like the classic old school style strawberry shortcake. Anyways, this is the most delicious candle I've ever smelled. And that is honestly this is what I was expecting with the pharmacy cleansing balm, which is, that's my bad. I get it, I get it, I get it. These just smell so darn good. So this is the strawberry shortcake one. It smells exactly like strawberry shortcake. It is so sweet and I am usually not into like, like I don't really buy like vanilla candles or anything. Like I like fruitier scents muskier scents but this no 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 i want my whole house to smell like a strawberry cake it's so so good you get all the layers in here you get the strawberries you get like the whipped cream it's kind of like a marshmallowy scent really a little bit of that warm vanilla and custard i just loved custard the cat so i knew that these would be a little bit similar but this one is a little bit more 
don't know, it's kind of like a buttercream sort of scent. You get a lot more vanilla in this one. God, I just, I want to eat these candles so bad. Anyways, these are still available on the site. $14 each. Can you believe that? Okay, final item of this haul. Barnes & Noble. So I actually bought four books on this Barnes & Noble trip. If you watched my May reading wrap up, I did like a little book haul there and I already showed two of these books. But these two that I'm about to show you are the two that I bought specifically to read this summer. If you're new around here, I have a book buying problem, but it is what it is. I do a lot of book videos, so who can fault me, really? I do it for you guys. Anyways, got these two books and also this tote. I have the Barnes & Noble premium membership thing because I do buy so many books. And I guess when you sign up or renew or you've been a member for a year, I don't really know how I got this bag, but I was checking out and she was like, oh, you have a free tote. And I was like, Hand it over. So I got the gray one. It's actually a really quality tote. It has a nice little pocket inside. It's very sturdy. I'm I'm very excited about this. I will be taking this on my next Barnes shopping trip. But these are my two summer reads. I plan on packing this one for Cancun because if I'm honest, the cover is really cute and I think that taking pictures of this book in Cancun on the beach it's gonna be really cute. <laughs> so this is My Magnolia Summer by Victoria Benton Frank. And on the inside jacket here, it says that Victoria Benton Frank transports us to her family's beloved low country of South Carolina in the spicy and heartfelt debut about three strong women with strong appetites. And then at the bottom it says, when the three generations of South Carolina women join forces, anything is possible. So this book sounds really good but also very sad because one of the parts it mentions here is the grandma falls into a coma after a car accident. I will be bawling in this book, I can feel it. But it sounds promising. I haven't heard any reviews about this one yet so if you guys have read it let me know what you thought. And same thing with this one. This is by Sarah Adams. She also wrote When in Rome which apparently somehow connects to this book. I don't really know how much, but I have not read When in Rome, so I'm just get, I'm just diving into this one. <laughs> I am seeing this everywhere, all over Instagram, on all the little bookstagram accounts that I follow. It says it's about a small town sweetheart and an emotionally unavailable bad boy. I'm sold. So I have high hopes for these two. I think that they're going to be sweet. This one, a little bit more of like a rom-com vibe. This one, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna be a tearjerker. So that is my summer haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will have links to everything that I mentioned in the description box down below. So check that out if you are interested. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye!